Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 2022, as we continue our worst to first one with Williams Racing. And, uh, last race was a almost success, I guess. We did get some good points from both our... We get we get, we get get more points than Red Bull. So we, we got more points than Red Bull. So that's, that's really all we were looking for initially. Although I'm now needing to admin that to saying we need to get more points than... Uh, Mercedes. Mercedes is coming strong. Uh, they actually ended up... How'd they end up that race officially? Um, first and third. So, yeah, they, we, they still would have gotten more points than us either way, but we, not by as much if we hadn't lost Theo literally the last turn. So, so sad. Oh, so frustrating. But it's okay. We'll just keep pushing. I mean, what else can we do at this point? So, uh, any points here? We do have a point here for Theo... A bit more accuracy. Oliver got some points. Uh, defending feels like that would come in handy. And Mr. Crawford here. All right, good stuff. Anything for our staff? No, 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 and no. Uh, we do have to fix our car. We are missing a front wing. I still can't believe this wing is better. <laughs> it's just crazy. Uh, we'll be able to make one. We will need to rush this one. We do need a. We just need a wing, right? We'll just rush that one. That's fine. Underfloor. Unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to change to a less great underfloor. Well, oh, that's right. We're gonna manufacture once we got this next set of underfloor. Um, I guess we'll go down to this one then. It's not ideal, but we got to do what we got to do. Theo's contract ends soon. I mean, I definitely want to give him a better contract. I'm going to wait a little bit longer, hopefully, because I don't know if we can afford it right this second, but we will we'll go ahead and set it up later. Ah, such a rough race. This is, this is going to be a tough, tough, tough season, and I don't... I feel like we're losing, we're losing more ground than we're gaining. No, I was going to say this car number one because it doesn't have all its parts. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Um, okay. Go ahead and give you one of these. Obviously, I would prefer to have more. In fact, I mean, it's probably too late, right? Yeah, it's too late. We'll just we'll run this as is. If we crash and we need a part during the middle of the race, then whoopsie, I guess, at this point. Suspension in one day, under four in two days. That under four, I'm hoping, makes a big difference. Suspension too. I mean, we, we're going to add some cooling, which hopefully will help with some of the lockups. All right, let's let's go. Car park test center. There's our suspension. All right, what does the car park test center do again? Oh, engine and brake cooling, which is good. I mean, that's what we need, right? We need some of that locked into here. Did I not get the message for this? I don't remember getting the message for that. I think we have to refurbish this. So much money. Because we need the weekly experience for our drivers to continue to get better. I think we're going to have to go with that. I don't care about the team hub as much, but probably should upgrade or refurbish it at some point. Helipad. I mean, it does get us more money and the refurbish on this is nothing, so that's fine. Boardroom's about to come up. Okay, well, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, we are going to run out of money. Okay, I was going to say, there's the <laughs> there's the stuff telling me that things were down. So that was suspension? Yep. Is this better? It is better. Good. 
And definitely a little bit, a little bit of improvement on break building. Not, not a lot, but something. So we will definitely want to get a couple of these. We'll do them normally because I just we've got to save money where we can. Uh, and then we will design something. I kind of feel like our brake cooling is still probably a weak link here. So probably another suspension at this point. Twenty-five days to design. How many days do we have on the? So I got a lot. So we can do a, a blank one right now. Can we afford to do a blank one? It's a good question. Apparently, a blank one would actually still give us something. We're gonna race performance. And we're gonna just bump this up until we stop gaining. We'll just go up to about medium. I think we got to keep stay the course until we run out. We just got to go all the way to the end. And if we run out, we run out. I'm actually surprised we're still getting this. <laughs> I'm a little surprised we're still getting that. Um... I'm just going to say one driver finishes in the top six. I'm being very, I just, I don't have confidence right now, which is really sad. I had a lot more confidence last season until we got to like the last five races. This season, we're only halfway through and I have like zero confidence. What a difference a year makes. Rain the first two days, not rain on race day. Your rest can get down 35%, so we got a little bit more to go. All righty, Austria. Point five, thirteen point five, two to eight, two nine five, point four five. Okay, well, let's go. All right, you went down to five, twelve, five, one to nine, three oh oh, point three five. And that got you a great, a bad, which we don't know which direction. That's not good. <laughs> uh, another great, another great, and a good. But we know which direction to go for that one, so that's good. Only 170 possible setups. We got this. I mean, I do think the bads probably is that direction, but I guess if it's not, we'll know for sure. Um, and then you. You went with the 5-5, five, 13-5, five, 2-8, five, two 2-9-5. Two you barely changed it at all. So you get a bunch of optimals, so good stuff there. Do 
come on. Four possible setups. Very minor changes. Cool. Anything we're changing? No. Good stuff. Oh, wow. You already jumped up to 100. Good stuff, Mr. Theo. Welcome back as we continue. All right, you went with uh, 4.5, 13.52 to 8, 305, and 0.5. And I got you a great and a bunch of optimals again. So really not much changed. Oh, no, I, I did something wrong. Um... Uh, Hit the wrong button. <laughs> Give me a second to plug this back in. I think I can salvage this. There we go. One possible setup. Cool. Uh, so this is P3. Or P3. I'm going to try the medium thing again. See what it does. Although, if they have to change for rain stuff, that's fine. Uh, obviously, we got to change up to parts. Um, guess we'll go with the good parts. Actually getting close to where we need to swap the ERS over. Finally. Really didn't do well. We're going to try mediums again. Did better on mediums. All right, we'll let you run softs this last one. Did worse. <laughs> Go figure. Um, it's really bad, actually. The way the cars are so much more even this year is really, really mind-boggling. Now, here's the thing. Um, we're not doing any research right now, so we could be in trouble next year. Um... Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I was kind of putting all my eggs in one basket for this year. Doesn't, it's not looking good. Three DRS zones. Not a lot of chance to uh, push past those, like push, um, push a gap there, unfortunately. Not that we've been pushing very many gaps this year, right? There's been literally no opportunities to push into gaps. We just, we just haven't been able to. We're, our cars are just so much slower than they were last year. Apparently that's, these two strategies are identical, so probably what that means is uh, we're going to put you on the hard to medium strategy. Let's see if it makes any difference, so we'll just go with that, and then we'll put you on the medium to hard strategy, just be a little bit different.
Oh, it really matters. We'll just plug in something here. 30 and 42. That's fine. Uh, anything else? No, we're not going to do the fuel thing. Anything again, I don't think. So if I... So yeah, this is what I did last time. I added two, which is obviously more than we needed. It was three kilograms. Adding 1.5 kilograms. Nah, it's fine. It was, it was fun to try. See what happened. I don't think that's what cost us. But it didn't seem like it helped us. Let's put it that way. And it was worth trying because we were so far behind anyway. Sometimes you got to take risks when you're far behind. I mean, if our car's heavier, we're obviously slower. So it might have cost us in ways that wasn't quite as obvious. But even when we got down to like just barely over, like a kilogram over, something like that, we were just didn't feel like we were that fast. Uh, okay, I guess this is it. I hate being this this <laughs> pessimistic. I, I just don't have any confidence about anything right now, and I don't know how to fix it. It's lights out, and away we go. Yeah, I guess we'll watch the deal. It's not really benefit watching one over the other right this second. And a new position just gained by Williams. That just crashed. <sighs> All right, we gotta. You know, I'm actually gonna keep pushing just a little bit more. It's risky, but. Ooh, I thought we crashed there. Track grip is already normal. That's interesting. Mercedes moved up a place. Being very aggressive here. <laughs> Early on, more so than I would normally be. Or more so than I have been lately. It's probably more along the lines of aggression from last season, but we're burning through so much fuel. And I think I can get it back. That's why I'm kind of being, I'm going for it. I think I can still get it back. So 
There's a lot of DRS on this track, so I feel a little bit more confident about being able to stay close to these guys when I'm trying to harvest or trying to get fuel back, things like that. And maybe I should be harvesting right now, but I'm just really just trying to push as much as I can for a little bit here. Alright, that might be about as much as we can push. We're not really getting anything else off this last little bit here. And we're staying close, but not by much. Okay, we're going to go back and settle in here. Uh, we'll just settle into balanced. I'm going to get the harvest back first. Corner right here. We need to go back to neutral just for a second. Make sure we stay close. Oh, which we did not. Okay, never mind. That's not going to happen. Uh, Alright, doesn't matter now. You're an idiot. You're such an idiot. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? There are cars coming. We have no car parts. So we are done. We can take a look now. It's a collision. Let's Why would you do that? Look. Now we see the Williams here. Fine, you ran off. Okay, it's fine. But why come back on? Like, would you? Did you? Was he not able to stop? Is that all it was? Am I being too hard on him? I just feels like he tried to come back on when he shouldn't have. He wasn't clear. Obviously, we got to retire him. There's nothing he can do. Um. Yeah, I mean he has no front wing, so we're just gonna retire him. I mean, I could I could run him, but why run him with no with no nothing? I mean, there's no point. Um, retire. Him. The only reason to run him would be if there's a chance he could like maybe somebody else gets completely knocked out and he's like 19-3. like. But there's no points there, right? So there's no point. You are a dummy. I'm sorry, Theo, but you are such a dummy, and I'm annoyed with you. Because we did not need that. Well, we're definitely not going to win it this season. And the good news is, I guess, if we get behind, I have to go put everything into research. We're going to stop development entirely. If this race puts us behind Red Bull, which it very likely will, then my, my judgment call was, at the midpoint of the season, if we're still in the lead, we're going to keep development. If we're behind first place, we will not be able to catch them. I just don't see us catching them with just pure development. If we're behind first place, then we will start back to try to do as much research as we possibly can. Thankfully, research, I think, is a little bit cheaper than development, so we might be able to still fit that within the cost. Hopefully, it's not too late. Such an idiot. Hey, we got some of the fuel back. The only way we could salvage this at all is if Oliver somehow wins this thing. I don't see that happening, but you never know.
Let me get a little bit more harvest here. Okay, I think that's a good place to be. Um, after we get past this next turn, I'm going to start getting some of the fuel back, and then we'll figure out if we want to put make another push here in a bit. What would you? What did you just do? Why did you just stop? I don't understand these drivers sometimes. So now we can, we're going to have to get back into the DRS, which I don't know if we will be able to. Why do we? Why do these drivers do dumb things sometimes? It's so frustrating. I get that they're young. But we weren't seeing this much just flat out dumb last year. Yeah, crashes is one thing. But coming back onto the track and getting your front end clipped, that's not what we saw last year. Stopping on a corner completely, not what we saw last year. So I feel like we're seeing things this year that we just didn't see last year, which is really weird. There's somebody out. I guess that helps us a little bit. All right, let's try and get some of the fuel back now. Okay, we gotta go back to normal because this corner for some reason we are terrible at. Yeah, slightly better corner that time. Good job. All right, got a little bit of fuel back. Feeling pretty good about that. We might actually try to make an attack if we can stay close to these guys, which sometimes seems to be easier said than done. <sighs> we're gonna go, we're just gonna go aggressive. We're gonna go push and we're gonna go, I guess just overtake. Nothing. There's just not a lot of opportunities to pass. Okay, there's a little bit. Good job there, buddy. Okay, I don't think we're going to hold this because he's on the inside, but you never know. We did get it. Okay, I'm impressed. Got anything left in the... You got anything else, buddy? You got anything else? Alright, so we'll go back to neutral here. I'm going to keep the fuel going a little bit heavy here for just a minute, just to see if we can get anything else here. I mean, we got into first, but at what cost, right? We're not going to be able to hold it, but it's nice to get up there. <laughs> you know? Looks like a 
All right, that's fine. We expect that. Uh, stay neutral for a second until we get past this next corner. Okay, we can go back to harvest now. And we'll go back balanced. Come on, let's keep it up. I mean, we're in a good spot, but again, this is such an impossible track to break away from. I don't feel confident that even if we got the lead, we could keep it. So, oh, sorry. No, I didn't mean to lose that. There's just so few corners. I gotta keep sneaking up on me. And a new position just gained by Williams. Mm. Let's see if it gets me there. I mean, there's just not much I can do about that one. I don't want to take another overtake there. It's fine. All right. position gained for Mercedes. Yeah, I can cut off there. It's not great. And now they're just running away with it. I like that car that we lap messed us up a little bit. Yep, we were just we were done. Man, we just cannot hold on to it. I don't know why why is our car so much slower than everybody else's? Like it should be one of the top fastest cars. It, again, it, I think it has to go back to the idea that our car is not faster by as much as it was last season. Last season, it might have been like, I don't know, just use arbitrary numbers. It's not not realistic, but arbitrary numbers like 5% faster. Now it's only 1% faster, you know, something like that. Like, it's just not faster by enough. Alright, it's about where we want to be. This is fine. Let's settle in here for a little bit. We 
We'll come out on some fresh tires here in a moment. I'm actually going to full on attack for a minute because uh, we've got plenty of tread left at them. Well, plenty. More than we were expecting at this point. All right, hard tires it is. Hard tires it is. If we get a good pit, we might be all right. Now, obviously, he's pitting. He's going to try and undercut us. Probably will undercut us. I'm guessing you have fresh tires. No, you don't. Wow. You're just a faster car than me because we're faster than you, theoretically, but you're faster than us. I don't know. It's You had DRS. I know you did, but it's fine. It's just, ugh. We were so fast last year, at, the, at least for the first half. For the first half of the season, we were so incredibly fast. And we did, again, start slowing down because, because I started doing research. I was going to change it up and do development through the whole season this year. Have I, had I done development the entire season last year, I actually think we would have won. But I wasn't confident that we would, so I, I stopped doing development. This season, I have zero confidence that if we stayed on development, we would be able to get back into this thing. I just don't think we will. If we were first by a lot, or even just first by, you know, just a decent chunk of margin, fine. But we are just... We, we haven't even won a race in... I can't remember the last time we ran a race... I guess the first or second race, maybe. We have not run one since then. I don't know, since, uh, have we won since Oliver took over? I don't know that we've won since Oliver took over that first time. All right, we're going to do a full push, full, I guess, start off with deploy. We'll see what this looks like. Got fresh tires. Can we get a good lap here? I mean, again, it I, I know people are going to say, well, you got younger drivers. We had even younger drivers last year. So our drivers are better this year than they were last year. And last year we did amazing. So it's not just the drivers. There's no way. Almost back in DRS with some guys that did not pit. So that's kind of cool. All right, go back to standard for now. Back to balance. We're, we're, we're right on these guys' tail. Let's just stay on the tail. We do need to start getting some harvesting back. Just want to make sure we do get closer to them. Yep. We can harvest now. So two of these guys in front of us will have to pit. One, two. The only one that doesn't have to pit is Red Bull, and then, of course, the two Mercedes cars have to pit. So if we can close the gap on Mercedes, then them pitting, the only gains they will have is, you know, faster tires, but we can stay ahead of them long enough, then, then we might be all right. There's no chance of rain, is there? It doesn't look like it. Of course, the other Red Bull car is right on our tail. Because, of course, it is. <laughs> we cannot get away from them at all, which is fine. Like, I don't mind being in competition with some guys, but it's just... Oh, they just never go away, do they? I 
And there's an overtake from Williams. Good pass, buddy. Good pass. And a new position just gained by Williams. Don't really want to get this pass here. I don't really want this pass here either. Oh, this is dangerous. No, nope, he got it. Uh, I think, no, he's going to have the DRS. That's unfortunate. No, we got it. We got it. Okay, never mind. I misunderstood. Um, okay, we're actually going to go for it then. I uh, really need to get past him on that, though. No, it's not going to happen. Okay, it's fine. We'll get another shot here in a minute. It's fine. If you get past him, it's fine. He'll pass us here in a second. That's okay. We'll stay right on his tail. Okay, can we... I don't think... I think there's two... I think he's too far ahead of us right now. Nope, we got it. Okay, go, 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 go. Push, 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 push. I don't think we can get a full second, but... We're gonna try. No, there's no way. It's okay, we tried. No way. Okay, we tried. I mean, our only real hope would be if we started ahead of him. Coming into that last section. All right, here he comes. That's okay. Perfectly expected. Mm, he's going to pass us here, which is, or you would think. Yeah, there he goes. Uh, I don't like the fact they're both passing me, though. Sounds like someone's locked up. Can we get past one of them? I mean, I think they're too smart to let me get past one of them, to be honest. I want to get past one of them naturally without having to use overtake or anything like that. I don't know if that's going to happen. I 
Not if they are smart. They'll just keep going side by side to keep me from getting past. Yep, yeah, right there. Slow me down. Right here, side by side. Okay, I got past one of them. Okay, is there a, a chance here to get another good deploy? No. Oh, okay. Um, not, not feeling it. In fact, if anything, I'm going to actually harvest for just a second. We'll get the pass here. Um, it's okay. They'll get past us in a second. I just want one of them to get past me. That's fine. I don't need both. That's <laughs> why so I'm going to harvest for a second. That way I can defend if, if once the first one gets past. Just for like a second. They are just going to be right neck and neck, though. I'm going to say, we don't have DRS here, so it doesn't matter. Oh, we're going to have a chance there. I mean, we're going to get past him here, but I, I, what I need is to be like neck and neck coming around in the corner with me having DRS. Then I think I can make a push and potentially push past the second. Until then, I don't think it's going to happen. And a new position just gained by Williams. Alternatively, we could catch up with this guy in front of us and get DRS off of him. But... Hard to say with when, if or when that would happen. Not yet. Here he comes. That might have been our chance there. Um. You know what? We're gonna go for it. At worst, we get caught up with this guy in front of us. We're still in the lead after he had DRS, so that might give us a tiny bit of an advantage here coming through this back stretch. I doubt it's enough. We can catch up with this guy and get DRS off of him. Because you can get DRS off the guys in front of you. I feel like we've done that before. Maybe not. Maybe I'm misremembering how that works. I thought we've gotten DRS off of lapped cars before. Oh, wow. Uh, ideally, he just stopped that guy behind us. Oh, he did! He did! And we did get DRS. Okay, so I thought we could. I, I thought we could get DRS off of guys were lapping. He just stopped Red Bull completely in their tracks. Okay. That is useful. All right, we're going to go ahead and drop this down, but we're going to keep pushing the fuel. We'll go deploy for a little bit longer. Okay, that's good. Neutral. Now we just got to stay ahead. Easier said than done, huh? Any other lap cars we can catch up with? Because that would massively make, make this massively easier, right? We can, if we can lap another guy, get another DRS boost, then we might be all right. But I don't know that we can hold this on, onto this, right? This is not easy to hold on to. And he's coming. He's storming right now. Why do we have damaged? Oh, our ERS. Uh, no, we got till three thirty-five percent. So we're still fine. Well, theoretically, we are. Now he's coming. Not enough. And we're not catching up with the guys in front of us quickly enough. And there's still 20 laps left, so there's no way we hold on to this. Of course, it's Red Bull, Red Bull, Mercedes, Mercedes. Ugh. 
So either way, we're dropping points, even if we stay in first. Uh, we're dropping points to both. Let's see here. We get 10. They get 8. Was it 6? I4? I think if we can see it, if it ended it right now, right? Um... Okay, no, they get not. We get one more point than Mercedes. They get f four points. We're still technically in the lead if we stay up, though. Which I'm surprised about. I still don't think we can hold on to it. Assuming their tire wear is better than ours. Eh, yeah, not, not by a lot, a lot, but it's definitely better. I'm going to go push for just a little bit, see if we can kind of stay ahead here. I doubt it. Or at the very least, catch up with the guys in front of us, maybe. Again, I kind of doubt it. Nope, there we go. He's back in DRS. Oh, we tried. Someone spun out. Red Bull gained a place. Mm. Because they both had DRS and I didn't. <laughs> All right, fine. I give up. Take it. Ah. Uh, At this point, I've just got to be patient and try and get something at the end. Although, Mercedes is coming hard. Okay, well, that helps. Thanks, Red Bull, for uh, helping me out a little bit. You didn't have to. Um... I mean, if you're going to spin out, you could have, like, crashed as well, just to kind of make things even that way, too. That would be nice. Uh, okay. Well, I guess we're going back to neutral here. I still think we'd be patient here and just expect that Mercedes is going to catch us. Possibly both Red Bulls as well, because they're right there neck and neck with him. That didn't happen to mess up their tread, did it? Nah, not as much as I would have hoped. My current plan is to just harvest up. Let's go ahead and get harvested up. We're, we're going to run the plan. They're catching us. We're no doubt they're going to catch us. We've got to be ready for it. And so to be ready for it, I've got to just kind of play a little bit of harvest game. We're also going to try and get a little bit of fuel. And we're probably going to try and be a little bit careful on the tires. And a combination of all of that, I'm hoping that we're ready for them to come when they come. Because they're coming. Obviously, they're, they're coming. In fact, they're almost caught back up again. Okay, it's a pretty good place to be with the ERS. I'm going to go conserve on the fuel. Expect them to pass us here in a second. 
I'd like to at least, probably at least point three. Oh, they've run wide. Here comes Mercedes. There's our point three. We'll stay until we get to this next corner. Then we'll go back. Okay, that's fine. At least we should get DRS off this next corner. And we do. Good. All right. We're going to go light on the tires. Mercedes moved up a place. At least until we get above. Ideally, until we get above Red Bull. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Play it out. Come on. Anything. I need to be watching the car behind me. Because I don't really want another car to pass me. I don't really care what's going on in front of me right this second. As long as nobody passes behind me. Okay. It looked like he was about to crash into me. That was scary. All right, being conservative, we actually got to pass there temporarily. It's a race position gained from a patience, stadium. patience, patience. Getting quite a bit of extra fuel now. We did get it a proper pass there. It's too early, though. Early to make a push. It was like 69. From or definitely 70. If it was 70, I think I might go for it. That's too early. Now, the problem here is that we need to only let one of them pass us. Go, oh, just one of you, one of you, one of you. That's all we need. That's all we need. Come on, come on. We need to get the next DRS. We do. Okay, good. Mm, come on, come on. Cut Red Bull off. Good job. We're almost back in line with where they're at. Got a proper pass there, but I really don't want to be in front right just yet. It's too soon. But I don't want Red Bull to pass me. Okay, get cut off. Come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, keep it going. It's getting down to the wire. <laughs> Not even paying attention in front of me at all. In front of me is going to handle itself. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. All right, we got to push the fuel. And go back to the center on the tires. Okay, just one of them passed me. That's fine. That's okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Still too soon. I 
We might be able to push the fuel here in one more lap. Because we've got quite a bit of fuel left. I don't think we push until lap 70. Come on. Or do we even push lap 70? Or do we just wait? Do we do it all on 71? It's such a huge risk. But I think we can pass him on 71. Hmm... I need him to get past me here. Okay, that's fine. We gotta stay close. So now we gotta push the fuel. We're fine with pushing the fuel. We're fine with pushing the tires. And we're fine with going back to the front view. Stay right on his tail. Stay right on his tail. Stay right on his tail. And we don't really want to overtake until we get close to the end here. This is scary. It is a little scary. No, it's too soon. Too soon. Um, I think we can do it here, though. I think if we go full deploy, full attack, I think we can do it from here. Even if we get past him and he gets DRS, I think we can get it. Go, 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 Stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead, stay ahead. Stay ahead. At this point, we're just going to go to full defend. Man, can you imagine if we had both our drivers? Um, Red Bull was further down. That's helpful, but... Yeah, honestly, that's probably about as good a result as we could have gotten. Red Bull being further down. Maybe the only other thing that could have been slightly better would have been both Mercedes cars ahead of both Red Bull cars. That might have been the best for us, but this is actually pretty close. So, all things considered. Oh, I cannot believe we lost Theo. So, so crazy. <laughs> good race though i i'm very all things considered i'm extremely happy with that race right i mean you sure you guys agree right that was that was a we, we raced that well they got 13 points they got 10 so we got the exact same number of points as red bull and i wish we got i wish we were getting the points for the fastest lap that would be so nice uh and then of course uh mercedes got a little a few extra points that we would have preferred not him them having but that's okay Theo dropped down to third now. Oliver jumped up to second. The first, I mean. And he's only had, he's got, what, two, rest late, two less races than everybody. So that's impressive. We are still in the lead in constructors, only by six points. This, this top three is getting extremely tight now. And based on my, my, my rule, not my rule, but, you know, my, what I said at the beginning. If we are in first place at the halfway point, we, we keep developing. It's really only when we lose first place that we stop developing go to research because we assume we're going to have to flip into next year. That underfloor is going to be a huge boost. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this up now because I'm going to forget between episodes. Uh, obviously, we've got to get... It's not this front wing. We want, we want this front wing. So we're going to have to get... Truth be told, we probably need to get like three of these. Actually, do we? Uh, when is the next front wing going to come up? 27 days. Oh, no, we definitely got to get three of those. I Not ideal, but... Uh, well, thankfully, two of them will get back. Actually, all three of them will get, be ready before the next race. That's good. Okay. Done. And then we've got to design a new underfloor. 
Actually, before we do that, how is our current underfloor? Is it going to be an upgrade? Yeah, it's definitely an upgrade over both of the previous iterations. I mean, that's just because we're looking at the wrong car here. Um, if I, well, how would I do that? It's just not showing properly because of things. Um, it's fine. We will get two of these. These will be done. Should be done in time for the Grand Prix. I really don't want to rush them. And we will have to do hours for this, which is fine. Just keep developing the underfloors. It's, it's misleading over here because of things, but we're definitely getting a boost here. There we go. Show record car two performance. That's what we want to see. Yeah, big big boost our acceleration. That's really good. Still not top. I mean, we're, we're topping a lot of things. I think we are still. We've got to be one of the best cars, right? But just not topping everything. Mm, so expensive. What else we got to manufacture for our other car real quick? Front wing we're getting. Rear wings we got to get. Oh no, we just got those. Perfect. Nice. Temporarily I will put on, I guess, this front wing. Just to have something. And then suspension. Are we not making some of these already? Yeah, we got. Okay. Um, so we're getting those soon. So that's fine. We'll just come down to this one for just, just to have the card set up. So, great average. I mean, not great. Um, car 2 is a little bit better because it's got the better parts right now. So looking okay, great average here. I mean, acceleration is still apparently our Achilles heel, which is unfortunate, but everything else is looking really good. I'm assuming it's Red Bull. Ah, Red Bull's only third here. Fifth on acceleration with DRS. Uh, is it Mercedes then? Are they just like that good? Yeah, Mercedes. They have the best acceleration, which we were seeing. <laughs> we were definitely seeing. Man, their brake cooling and engine cooling is top notch, which is good for them. We definitely got to get ours better. I mean, nobody's bad, right? That's probably the thing. Like, we've been neglecting that, right? And here's the thing. Okay. I mean, I do think it would help with some of our lockups and engine wear and stuff like that. But these guys that have better brake cooling and things... They still get lockups. They still get spin outs. I still see that happen. So it's not like it completely negates them. It just maybe it'll make them fewer and further between. All right. We are. This is going to be a fight to the finish, guys. This is going to be tight. But it's been tight all season, right? So at least we're hanging in there. In some ways, maybe it's better. Maybe some ways it's better because last season, we got to a huge lead and then slowly lost it as time went on. Now, we never got to a huge lead. We're just staying in the mix. And obviously getting a first place finish there was awesome. If we'd gotten any points from Theo, that would have been just that much better, right? I mean, it's just, if we're staying in the mix, that means we're, maybe we're playing more of a, a marathon as opposed to a sprint. We sprinted early last season and then just had no energy for the rest. Now we're kind of more marathoning it, just we're going through it. And maybe we can hold on to the end of the season or at least make it very interesting towards the end of the season. So we'll see. 
Gotta stop the crashes, though, right? Gotta stop the crashes. All right, we're going to put a cut in there, though. I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.